Now that we're dealing with inventory and sales accounts, our income statement will change a bit. Instead of listing all the revenues first and then all the expenses, we can reorganize the income statement to better fit a company with inventory sales and to report multiple types of profit. This new format is referred to as a multiple step or multi-step income statement. This new format starts out with a section related to the sales of the company. There are two ways you can show this section. The first is to provide details about the revenue accounts related to sales. You would start with sales revenue and then deduct sales discounts and sales returns and allowances to arrive at net revenue. The second way to construct this section is to eliminate the details and start instead with the net revenue figure. Regardless of which presentation is chosen for the sales section, the other information for this section deals with the cost of the sale. We take the net sales figure and subtract cost of goods sold to calculate gross profit. Remember, the sales figure, net sales here, is made up of the sales price. The cost of goods sold figure is made up of the cost of the inventory sold. We want to sell our inventory for more than it cost us. Therefore, we want the sales figure to be higher than the cost figure. Gross profit is the difference between sales and cost of goods sold. A positive gross profit means that we accomplished our goal of selling inventory above our cost. And the larger the gross profit, the better. Selling inventory for 10 cents more than its cost is not as good as selling it for $10 more than its cost. Gross profit is one type of profit displayed on the multiple step income statement. The next is operating income. Gross profit shows how much we made on the sale of our inventory. However, the cost of our inventory is not the only cost of our business. There are several other costs necessary to run a business. The next section of the income statement lists all the other costs necessary to run and operate a business that are considered part of the normal operations. These expenses are categorized as selling expenses, general expenses, and administrative expenses. The expenses can be listed out individually or grouped by category. We will deduct these expenses from gross profit to calculate operating income. The next section of the income statement deals with other income and expenses. This area is for those revenues and expenses that occur in a business that are not part of their core reason for being in business. For example, the coffee shop doesn't use all the space in their building and rents out the remainder to a bookstore. The rent the coffee shop receives is considered other revenue. They're not in the rental or real estate business. Rent is not their core business function. However, it is a revenue to their business. Therefore, it is categorized as other income or revenue and listed in this other section of the income statement. We will take operating income that we calculated before this section, add all the other revenues, and subtract all other expenses to calculate income before income tax. As the name implies, all that is left now is income taxes. We would calculate the amount of tax and subtract it from income before income tax to arrive at net income or net loss. You did it! You reorganized everything and still made it to the bottom line.